Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound Cr2S3. So I have two different elements here. I have Cr for chromium and I have S for sulfur, right? If we look on the periodic table, chromium is going to be a metal, right? Because chromium is somewhere here on the periodic table and anything in this box is a metal, right? A transitional metal. The sulfur is definitely a non-metal, right? Sulfur is over here on the periodic table, right below oxygen. So that's non-metal territory. So we have a metal and a non-metal. That's an ionic compound. Let's get to naming. The metal name always comes first, and that one always stays exactly the same. So chromium on the periodic table, chromium for naming. Okay, so we got chromium. And now the non-metal, in this case sulfur, that gets the I-D-E ending. So it was sulfur on the periodic table, but now it's going to be sulfide. The U-R gets dropped, and I now add an I-D-E to get to sulfide, the I-D-E ending. Now I just got to make sure, since this is ionic, do I need a Roman numeral or not? But since chromium is in the transitional metals, those transitional metals, there are exceptions, but chromium is not one of them, you need a Roman numeral. And the Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. In this case, it's chromium. But how do we find the charge of the metal? That's pretty simple. All we're going to do is take your subscripts and crisscross them back up to find the charge. You had two chromiums and three sulfurs. This two crisscrossed up, telling me that the sulfur was a negative two charge. And then this three crisscrossed up, telling me that the chromium was a plus three. But now always just do a check, guys, because ionic compounds can be simplified. Is the nonmetal charge correct? And in this case, it is, because the sulfur is in the negative two oxidation trend. So if this checks out, that means that this has to check out. And the chromium here is a plus three. So all we have to do is just add a three. Roman numeral for the charge of the metal. And that's it, guys. You're done. So Cr2S3 is chromium 3 sulfide. That's it. Hope for this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope I'm giving you guys great quality help. Let me know, all right? I will speak to you guys soon in future lessons, and I hope you guys have a great day. See you later.